there. So since last time I uploaded, it's been a minute, I know. A lot of life has happened. So let me catch you up. I went to Seattle, went to a Lizzo concert, got my septum pierced, explored Twain Heart with my best friends, went to Colorado, adopted a new cat, meet Barry Uwe. She is the best and she is also very loud. Performed in Kansas City right after the Super Bowl. I worked with amazing leaders, roasted the Try Guys, went to VidCon, dated someone I cared deeply about, and I'm still in my feelings about it, so please don't ask me anything about it, because my heart hurts. <laughs> I went to leadership camp, wrote a musical with Lord Farquaad, we stand Audrey Goodman in this household, remounted my one-woman show, I left Smosh, and I moved to New York. So yes, I am coming to you right now from my New York apartment. Wow. There's so many highs that I had, so many like peaks, right? And there were also a lot of lows, a lot of valleys. Am I going to list them in a super fun way? Absolutely not. Nobody needs to see that. If this is the first time you've heard that I left Smosh, I am so sorry. It's been a while, okay? But yes, I am no longer working with them. I will still be in the content, obviously. I'm not. They can't delete me, can they? They can. <laughs> but I'm still in their old content, obviously, but I won't be in any content moving forward. So if you've been curious where I've been at, I've been gone, girl. I'm kind of open to doing a video kind of dedicated to closing that chapter of my life and what that was like in general. But this is not, that's not gonna be this video. Why I'm in New York. I accepted a really amazing opportunity to be a part of the main stage cast for Second City New York. You're like, oh my gosh, I thought Second City was only in Chicago and Toronto and LA. But now we're gonna have a New York location and so I'm very excited to be joining this cast and to be working with this group of people. If you're not sure what Second City is, here is the spiel. The Second City has been around for over 60 years and is primarily known for sketch comedy and improvisation with a... <laughs> I can do this, I can do this! The Second City is a comedy institution that has been around for over 60 years. Primarily known for sketch comedy and improvisation, we proudly have locations in Toronto, Chicago, and now New York. Special shout out to Second City Hollywood where I primarily train. The Second City has a wide array of notable alumni, including Stephen Colbert, Tina Fey, Catherine O'Hara, Gilda Radner, Keegan-Michael Key, Amber Ruffin, Tim Robinson, Sam Richardson, and the list goes on. If you'd like more... Ladies? Are we okay? The radiator's coming on because there's radiators in New York! If you'd like more information about classes or anything of the sort, feel free to visit secondcity.com or follow Second City NYC on all of our social media platforms for more information about our dates and our location opening. <laughs> Here we are in the present day. I do have footage from the last like 10 months, but it felt like a little too far back. I'm just... Hopefully this doesn't, isn't awful, the sound that's happening right now. I did want to pick up from the end of August when I went to Chicago for like a two week immersion. So this is the first time we're meeting like the cast and the crew, all of the different things. I think picking up there will give a lot more context to get us to present day, if that makes sense, because I still have footage and different things that I do want to post. If I can figure out a way to post the old stuff in a way that's like fun and exciting and like worth the watch, then I will, but no promises, okay? So please enjoy the Chicago vlogs. Thankfully, my flight got delayed a couple times. <laughs> First, it was supposed to take off at like 
9.40 and then it got delayed two hours. <sighs> just got out of the Uber from the airport and I just walked into my room and I just saw this and it's really cute. It's so sweet. Aww. Come on, white wine. And a backpack. This is so nice. Massive bed. Just put my, I just, you know, TV. Like, I love, ugh, just, I love a room tour. Love it. <laughs> oh, this is a cute closet. Oh, oh I'm gonna need that, absolutely. I'm gonna need more um, hangers. The bathroom. She cute, she cute, she cute, she cute. I could fuck around here for two weeks. Ah! I am so freaking tired. This is just so, the handwriting, we love it. Why am I so tired? Oh, because I, of course, packed this morning. I stress packed this morning. And you know when you stress pack, oh, it's so cute. When you stress pack, you overpack. My bag was 13 pounds over at the airport. Just pitching outside. So then I had to find a place to put the, that 13 pounds at the airport. Also shout out to the guy at American Airlines that was like, Jackie, do you recognize often? I said, <laughs> There is nothing more jarring than someone being like, Jackie, do people recognize you? I was like, wait, what? As you're in, like, <laughs> if you ever see me at the airport, I am the most fragile. Like, literally, I was like, cool, 13 pounds. I'm going to move some things around because we're not paying fees. So I'm on the floor, not the ground. I was on the ground. I was on the floor, changed my stuff over, and then I was like, ah! Just like to myself, but again, sometimes you forget you're in public. Uh, and he was like, are you okay? And I said, like, yeah, I'm good. But thank you to that man. Uh, I feel dumb for not asking his name, but he was really nice. He helped me make sure that like my boarding pass had pre-check on it, all that good stuff. All the good things. My bag got through. I was cutting it extra close because I'm just bad at that. Okay, essentially TSA pre-check got me real spoiled. So I was like, this bag is going and I don't know if it's going to make it to Chicago. I don't know, okay? I really don't know. And at this point, I said, let go and let God. Hopefully I see it on the other side. I checked the monitors, I was like, okay, there's another flight coming in at like 1.30. So if anything, like I'll just have to wait at the airport for a couple hours. Nobody wants to do that, whatever. So then I went and I grabbed snacks cause it's like a four hour flight, 3.40, four and a half, I don't know. Across time zones, so who knows? My backpack is full. I got to O'Hare, got my bag and made it. It was the last bag to come out and I said, but I just waited and I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna stress until I see that this bag is not here and then we're, we're gonna go into like, you know, waiting mode. Picked up the bag, figured out where the rideshare pickup was. A man in an orange Bronco picked me up and I, he picked up my bag. He's like, it's just shoes, right? And I'm like, it's just... <laughs> But I thought I was gonna be in the car for an hour. It was only half an hour and he was actually very nice. He was super nice. He brought my bag like all the way to the front of the hotel. So it was like, oh my God, oh my God. I met another fan at the gate. Her name was Joella, Joella. Now I'm like, is it, was it Joelle? I think it was Joelle or Joella, Jay girl. So Jay, she walked up, she said, are you Jacqueline Uwe? And I was like, yep. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I'm so awkward. So I'm also like, I don't know how to respond. I, this sounds so dumb. Usually when fans come up to me, they're like, oh, like, are you this person from this thing? So like, if someone's like, is that your name? I'm like, yeah, that's my name. I'm not gonna fill in the rest because it's weird, right? Like that's weird for me to be like, from Smash. No, you don't say that, which is really sweet. She was like flying standby, trying to make it back home to Virginia. I hope you made it, girl. Whenever I meet fans at the airport, it is the most rounding thing because I'm always scattered at the airport, just a mess, right? They come and say hi. I'm always just like, you're fine. You're normal. You're human. This is such a nice moment too, because it doesn't happen often, but when it does, like it's it's just really, really cool. Usually if I'm with a friend, I'll have them take a picture, but I also always like kind of try to offer to take a picture because I'm like, 
I don't know when our paths are going to cross again, y'all. So why not? The chances of us, be we're literally on the same flight, okay? And my flight had already been delayed like twice that day because of Hurricane Hillary. You just never know when your paths are going to cross again. If I never see this person again, hopefully we were able to capture this moment. And I know it meant a lot to her and it meant a lot to me. So yeah, I got on my flight. I'm at the hotel now. Okay. <laughs> she tie tied. I haven't even taken off my freaking backpack. Okay. Now we do a haul. This is a nice backpack. Okay, like, I love a good backpack. Thank you. And cross that, come on. Great backpack. Inside there's another bag. Look at this. See that 10 a.m. at the Second City. Ooh, this is from like the directing team, the producers, Jen, Liz, Jeremy, and John. Thanks, guys. What's in this bag? A notebook for notes. A pen for notes. <gasps> yes. Pretzels. We love. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. I love merch. I love merch. Now, what I've started doing whenever I get like branded stuff is I just get like a large or an extra large and I'm just like, it's gonna be a sleep shirt. It's helping me with my own attachment to things cause I get real attached and sleep shirts I am attached to. There's some that are my favorites, but they're a little bit easier for me to get rid of. Okay, this I'm gonna keep for a while. <laughs> Shut up, what is this? <gasps> it's popcorn. It's popcorn. So sweet. My Pringles. Both of these sour cream and onion and cheddar cheese. These are my favorite flavors. I, it's like they know. Trail mix. Come on. Water. Fiji. Bougie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Two. Bougie. Bougie boots. A little pin that says yes and. <laughs> All of the emergency. Praise, praise be. So let me tell you. My body's gonna eat it. A bottle of wine. I should like switch up the angle, but whatever, we're hanging out. I did cry in the Uber on the way to the airport. But like, it was really beautiful crying. Imagine like, you're in a montage <laughs> watching a movie and she's looking out the window and her tears start streaming down her face and then she puts sunglasses on and she's leaving LA. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's hitting me more and more each day that I'm leaving California. And that's part of why I was like, oh, I wanna kinda start vlogging again just to like capture this time. Cause it's such a specific time in my life right now. Such a cool, like exciting time. And I'm also just feeling so many emotions. Good emotions, but a lot of emotions are like flowing through my body. <laughs> part of it is I've never lived anywhere outside of California. So, that's like one big part of it, right? I'm leaving California, going to New York. I'm leaving LA and like Southern California specifically where I've lived almost 14 years. That's a big thing. It's a whole thing to like move cross country. <laughs> so getting the logistics together and I've had to say goodbye a lot this week. So I'm just, <sighs> Yesterday, I had all this stuff planned, and I was like, I think I just need to, like, sit, and I cried a lot. <laughs> and I kind of, like, you know, have been compartmentalizing a lot of emotions, because I just don't have time, right, to, like, lose a day crying. But yesterday, I was like, I'm just going to lose this day, and I'm just going to cry. And it's good tears. Like, they're all happy tears. They're sad. Like, I mean, they're happy. They're sad. It's, like, gratitude tears. I think that's what's, like, very overwhelming. <laughs> it's like I have this like overwhelming sense of gratitude for like the people that I have spent so much time with that have helped me grow and I'm also like so excited to like start this journey with this not another group of people I'm a little scared but like <sighs> it's uh yeah <laughs> Oh.
Um, and it's kind of like one of those things I'm like, I don't really want to talk about it too much because I'm like, I just don't want to seem ungrateful. But it's like all of these emotions are like, they're good. If this is, I know all of this is a good thing. And it's like what I've been like dreaming of and manifesting and never really thought it would ever happen. So this is huge. <sighs> and even with that, it's like, it's a lot. So I'm just trying to be nice to myself. So I think people are getting dinner right now. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I'm gonna unpack because it gives me a lot of joy to like unpack. And I really, I truly threw so many things into my suitcase. <laughs> so I gotta figure out. I need to just organize my stuff, and it'll make me feel a lot better. Not that I'm feeling bad, but I'm just, I'm in a weird mood. I don't know if I want to like see people right now, you know? I just, I'm, I'm gonna just chill and get a good night's rest because we start tomorrow. I just want to meet people when I'm like in a good place. I don't want to meet people when I'm in a weepy, <laughs> weepy mood when I'm like, no, I'm so excited. <sighs> I don't want to meet anybody like that. <laughs> like, it's such a weird vibe. It's real. I'm sitting on myself, just chill. I'll probably go pick up food and then maybe I'll have a glass of wine and oh, I'm gonna take a shower and just relax. Thank you for listening. This is a really long clip. I'll see you soon. Okay, these are the pigeons. They just look like they're up to some shit. They are up to some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is their little hood. This is cute. Like, what are they about to do? You know, what are y'all about to do? Excuse me? There is a kitty girl that has joined. Oh, kitty, you can stay right there, baby. He went to the recording Oh my gosh, so crazy. You're back again. It is really wild to just see kind of where it was at mentally. It made me cry when I first rewatched it, honestly. Just like a couple of tears came down because I, I just know how nervous and scared I was at the time. Like I said, it's hard to vocalize being scared and nervous and fearful. This is such a cool opportunity, but I was. It's, just, it's all crazy and I didn't think I would be here. Like if you would, if you had told me that I would be in New York at this time, I would have been like, bitch, you lying, all right? <laughs> I've never done a big move like this before and it was really fucking hard. <laughs> Every day is so much better. When I say I was going through it, when I moved to New York, I was going through it. It was a lot initially. I'm feeling much more balanced now. I have my place for the most part set up and there was so much that I didn't even know that I didn't know that was going to happen and so many things occurred, but I will absolutely do a story time because my move was wild, okay? If you've stayed around this long, again, thank you so much. I have no idea what my cadence is going to be, not sure, but I'm just going to try my best to keep uploading and not get in my head and just, you know, put stuff out there. I'm happy to be here and I'm learning so much and I can feel myself growing. So thank you for being on this journey with me and I will see you soon.